Hi everybody, Miss Melinda here. If you're new to the channel, what I talk about is vintage ladies clothing and accessories. I try and teach you how to identify, restore, and take care of these beautiful pieces. So hit the like button and subscribe. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to wash a very special piece I just found for my own personal collection. It is a 1930s hand embroidered Hungarian blouse in purple. Super hard to find. So this piece doesn't really have any large stains, luckily no holes, but as you can see, it's kind of a dingy in color. It should be like an A crew, but just not so dirty and dusty. So we're gonna start with step-by-step -step directions on how to take care of this beautiful piece. So an important component of doing any job is having the right tools, right? So I'm gonna share with you the essentials that I always have on hand when cleaning vintage and antique clothing. Number one, a good pair of gloves. These guys are kind of short for my liking, but they're gonna be essential for what we're gonna be doing today, because it's only one piece of clothing. Then, OxyClean. I love this stuff, I swear by it. I usually buy it at a huge bulk discount store. White distilled vinegar, you can buy this at any grocery store. It's usually on the lower level, because it's so big, just a couple of bucks. And then hard to find, but really essential is Winx. This rust remover is heavy duty stuff and it will not rot away your clothing just like how bleach does. So I'm gonna start out by putting on my purple gloves and some cold water. Always, always rinse out a piece first. I know it seems like a super basic step, but if you try to just start washing right away, you're gonna be having this beautiful piece just soaking in a bunch of dirt that's practically woven into the fibers, okay? So fill up your sink or your tub, you can even use a bucket, with cold water. Now you can see as I swish it around a little bit, the water is not clear anymore. It's got some darker tones to it. It's not white like my sink. Try to stay gentle with a vintage piece. Don't wring it out, okay? Because that'll pull, especially like this, the embroidery is gonna stretch out, the smocking could get damaged. If you're using lace, it could tear. So be gentle, respect it. Remember, this piece is almost about 100 years old. And then I'm gonna let it drain, and we're gonna rinse it out one more time. You can gently squeeze the piece to get some of that excess water out. And let's do another little cold bath. See, this time around, the water isn't as yellow as the time before, right? Which means that our first rinse did get out a lot of that dirt. So now I'm gonna let this water drain out as well, and we're gonna talk about how to get the OxyClean ready. When washing with OxyClean and cold water, an issue is the OxyClean doesn't dissolve. It'll actually clump together in like a big rock. So what one of my tricks is, I put a little bit of OxyClean into a teacup with some water and then I'll pop it into the microwave for a second. You definitely don't want to use hot or warm water on a piece like this. Hot water will actually um, make the embroidery start to bleed a little bit. So we're going to take a whole cup of OxyClean, you don't have to be shy about it. Pop it into your trusty tea mug, water and into the microwave for about 30 seconds, and then you're gonna stir it around so it breaks up. So now that I've retrieved the OxyClean from the microwave, we're gonna fill the tub up with clean, cold water. I'm gonna stir around the teacup a little bit with the hot OxyClean in it, and then we're gonna merge the two. So fill this up, stir this around. Kind of helping the OxyClean to dissolve a little bit because again the cold water will make the OxyClean just form into a giant rock. Let's get a little bit more water in here so we don't make this hot with what we've just taken out of the microwave. Push it around a little bit. Look, now you can see this water again is starting to turn like a grayish 
brownish mess. So there's even more dirt coming out of this beauty. Now we're into the soaking phase. This is when I take off my gloves, walk away from it, and just kind of let the OxyClean do its magic. If you have a fear of a piece that's going to bleed, like the color, the embroidery, or the print, obviously using cold water is a tried and true method. But also adding a little bit of white vinegar can not only help stains come out, but it sometimes will keep the embroidery or the print from bleeding. It's not foolproof, but it definitely is a good assist. Okay, so we've let some time elapse, about 15 to 20 minutes, and we're gonna check the progress. So if you kind of swish it around a little bit, you can see the color of that water is kind of nasty. The top is looking really good, but I still feel like there's some areas that have some discoloration. So we're gonna rinse all this out and do the process again where we heat up the OxyClean. So now that we've put in our second round of OxyClean, we're gonna let it sit again for another like maybe 10 minutes, a little less time than the first, and then check on it and see how it's coming up. So during the soaking process, a couple of stains have come up. Because everything else has lightened, these darker spots are a little bit more obvious. So we're gonna treat them now with some of the Winx Rust Remover, okay? So this is one of the stains. You can see it's on the cuff. So I'm gonna hold it in my hand with the glove and then take the Winx Rust Remover. And you can be pretty generous with this stuff. Make sure it's all kind of covered in there. It's already starting to lighten just a little bit. It might take two or three more times and another soak, but it's definitely a lot lighter than it was before. I'm gonna let this sleeve soak outside the OxyClean for a little bit, minute, maybe two, and then we're gonna submerge it again and rinse it out. Okay, so now we've done two rounds of OxyClean. We treated the stains a little bit with some winks. I think it's looking pretty good. Totally different color than the time before, right? And we're gonna do a super good rinse and let all this water drain out. Gentle squeeze, kinda like how you'd hug your grandma, and then rinse it out. Even the purple is looking brighter. All right, so we've gotten out all the OxyClean and all the stain removers, we've given it a gentle squeeze, and now to save on electricity and so that we don't shrink the embroidery, we're gonna hang this outside in a low sun. After this blouse is all dry, we're gonna come back and see how it looks. I hope it fits.